Today I'm gonna to teach you about something called a constant inside PHP and a constant is basically a way for us to create data that cannot be changed at any point inside our code, which is very useful for a lot of reasons. For example, if you have some data that is very important to a lot of your code and it has to stay the same, then declaring it as a constant makes sure that if you were to accidentally change it at some point, you get an error message instead of all your code that starts breaking and, and showing the wrong thing because that one piece of data has now been changed and everything else is now wrong. So creating constants is something that can help us create data that should always stay the same. If we were to create a variable, for example, here, so if we were to go in and say we have a variable called name and set it equal to a string called Daniel, you can now see that if we were to echo this out and say we want to echo out variable name, this is going to give us Daniel because that's what we wrote. But what I can also do is I can take my variable name, go down below, and I can change it to something like Basse. And if I do something like this, it is just simply going to change the variable into Basse now, which is okay because this is just a variable. However, if I were to do the same thing using a constant, this is actually going to throw me an error message. So if we were to go up here, we can declare a constant by saying we want to define parentheses, semicolon, go inside the parentheses and give it a name. So to begin with here, we can call this something like pi because pi should never change because it is always going to be 3.14. So let's say I'm doing a bunch of calculations and I need to use pi in order to do this and I wrote it as 3.14, if pi were to change, then all my calculations are gonna go wrong. So I want to make sure that we always get this particular value, even if I were to accidentally change it at some point in the future, which I should not be able to do, but hey, mistakes happen. But we just want to do as much as we can to avoid those kind of mistakes. So what I can do here is I can go down and say, I want to echo out not variable name, but just pi. If we were to save this, go inside the browser, you can see we get 3.14. And you may have noticed something here because I did actually create a variable name using all caps. So right now it is PI using capitalized letters. This is not something you have to do. I could also go in here and say PI with a non-capitalized lettering. So if we were to do that and actually spit it out inside the browser, you can see we still get 3.14. However, it is a convention inside any sort of programming language that when you create a constant that you use capitalized lettering because it shows other programmers that this is a constant. So it's just kind of a visual indicator for other programmers to know that this is a constant. So now if I were to spit this out inside the browser, but I were to go down and say, I want to change pi into 4.14. So let's say I want to do this, but hey, oops, I made an accident, I accidentally change something that I shouldn't change. If we were to do this, you can now see that we get a error message because we're not supposed to redefine a variable called pi elsewhere inside our code. And this is just a very useful way to make sure that if I were to accidentally change something, that we get a error message instead of all the code starting you know, to go wrong. And of course, this can be any sort of data type. So it doesn't just have to be a float number like it is right here. I could also go in and say, this is going to be name. And then I can create a string and say, this is Daniel. And if we were to actually spit that out, you can see we get Daniel inside the browser. We can of course also create all the other types of data. We can create a true or false statement. So I could say is underscore admin, you know, is the person an administrator? Then I can go in and say, this is a true. And of course I can go in and actually spit it out so we can see it. It is also important to note here that a constant is inside the global scope whenever you define it, which means that if I were to create a function down here, so if I say I have a function, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it something like test, just to give it some kind of name. If I were to go inside the function, I can actually echo this particular constant directly inside the browser because we can just gain access to it. So even though we in the last episode talked about variables not being able to get passed into functions, unless we actually declared that they were a global variable we should access or pass them in through the parameters or something like that, uh, we can actually do that using constants. So if we were to actually go in here and say I want to echo out pi, then I can actually do that. So if we were to go below here and actually say I want to run my function here called test, 
And then you can see that we get 3.14 inside the browser. Of course, we're going to get 13 now because we also echoed out is admin over here. So it wouldn't delete that. You can now see we get 3.14. The last thing I want to mention here is whenever you define a constant is to make sure to always do it at the top of your script. It's just kind of a habit that we have that whenever we want to create a constant, they should be all listed at the top of the code. So even though it's not necessary, I could take the constants and actually move them below all my code if I wanted to do that. It is kind of a habit or a good practice for programmers to make sure that it's all at the top of the code so we can easily find them. And this is basically what a constant is. So having talked about that, we now start reaching a point where we need to start talking about how to actually do things with databases when it comes to PHP, because PHP is kind of like one side of the coin and the other side of the coin is handling data from within a database. So we need to start talking about how to, you know, actually go inside a database and create data and how can we then grab the data using PHP and show it inside a website. So having talked about constants, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you guys in the next video.